Hey everybody, the Reese Wirrell here, and welcome back to DMC Devil May Cry. In the previous episode, we took care of some more cameras, and then proceeded to... Well, actually, we was moving on to the next part, and then everything started closing up around us, and falling apart, and everything. And then we made it into a building, and then something happened, and now we're in a church. And we have to kill the Frost Knights, who we actually found out about in the last episode. These guys can only be hurt with Osiris. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Although we do have enough abilities for him. Ah, like the cleaver. It's, that is just amazing. Oh god, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, flawless kill. Shit. Oh my god, this thing just does not stop chasing. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. <laughs> Screw you! Oh, wow. Ooh. Don't like yous. Oh, wait. You grow a freaking shield back. Are you kidding me? Why? Why is it whenever I go to attack you, you freaking go into that rage mode shit? Just like that. Can you please stop? Oh my god. Ugh. I'm trying to avoid getting hit so I can keep my flawless kill streak going. Oh god. Okay, I thought that was going to end it, but it appears not. Get back up there. And again. Yay! Oh, we get another new enemy, I think. Can you hear me? Yeah, we do. What's this guy called? The Tyrant, of course. Who invited you, fat ass? <laughs> That's why I love Dante. Or in this one, at least. He just isn't serious and he just, like, yeah. Takes the mick out of anything. This guy's not as hard as you'd think. You just have to dodge one of his attacks and then you can turn around. Oh no, and then you go behind him and you use your hook. And that works. He is very tough when he goes into a rage mode, though. Oh god. He always gets up into a rage mode if you hit him. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But whatever. Shouldn't have done that, should have done that. Yeah, not the taller they are. Gotta be the fatter. Oh, this is where we have to, like, freaking... Yeah, just have to run. <sighs> oh, crap. No. Oh, God, that was close. <gasps> you are such a dick. Stop it. Oh, what the? That didn't even work. Do I have to do it all again? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I, pressed, I think I pressed the A button before I pressed the left trigger. I should just keep that held. But then I can't double jump. And I might need to double jump. Right, I'm just gonna keep trying. Okay, here we go. Go! Go! Onto the portal! Go! Yeah, we made it. Although, of course, because it's not on... Yeah, he's just gonna smash straight through it. Right now. Or in a second. There we go. I just seem to drag on forever. Church. Let's go. Nothing suspicious at all. Don't know what these people are talking about. Police have released footage of the terrorist responsible for the recent attacks at Saint Agrius's church. He goes by the name of Dante. Remember his face, people. If you see him, inform the police immediately, but do not approach him. He has a history of physical violence and is a known sexual deviant. Oh, there you go. This is Bob Barbus, just doing God's work. Ew. Yep, Dante is a sexual deviant, which I think is the, like, it's got the same meaning as sex pest, so. I was right when I said that, in a way. 
double S. What was time like? An S? Not bad. What was completion? That was terrible. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah that was pretty good. I'm happy with that. An S. Savage. Nice, two upgrades. Bitchin. Okay, let's go. Upgrades. Do I want abilities, though? Payoff. What's that? Before lift. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Um, wait, what is the one? Oh, it's kicker, level 2, right. Oh no, that is, yeah, it increases the damage. I think we will get overdrive. Wait, ooh, I haven't even used drive once, have I? Well, shit, can you actually remove upgrades on ones you've chosen? Wow, you can. I did not know that. Huh, that's cool. Anyway, let's uh, proceed to Virility, which is the next mission, shall we? We're in the factory now. I was here years ago as a child. I explored the whole facility unseen. I sensed a demon under the factory, a succubus, an ancient one. I believe it's the source of the psychotropic ingredient. That's what they use to control us. Welcome, visitors, to the Virility Factory. Virility's secret ingredient is what makes Virility the number one soft drink in the world. And best of all, it has been scientifically proven to improve weight loss by 21% and enhance sexual performance by 63%. It's How do people daily. actually fall for this crap? If you're told something's true often enough, you tend to believe it. Told me I was crazy for seeing demons. They tried telling me I was a basket case, too. They wanted to put me on drugs. It would make me better. They lied. They just wanted to keep me weak. Docile. No! How did you figure it all out? Virgil pulled me out of the nightmare. You? Oh, this is where we learn about it. When the people you're supposed to trust most turn out to be... Scum. Your eyes really do open up to evil everywhere. I took a stand, fought back, killed. No matter the consequences. Holy shit! See, ladies, so man. I chose my path, and I lived by it. And after all that anger, violence, and death, you have to dig deep, deep into your own heart, Ugh. to see if you are still sane, or if you can still call yourself human. I just knew in my heart I wasn't crazy. This, ladies and gentlemen, is where the magic ingredients are mixed together to give you the unique taste of virility. The succubus is hidden deep inside the factory, but there is no physical way to reach it from our world. Only from Limbo. There's a rift inside. Rest assured that it has been deemed both safe and beneficial by our trustworthy and ethical scientists. Yay, now we can move. Hoorah. We're actually a quarter of a way through the game, because there's only 20 missions. This way, I think. And the last two you missions. Said you've been here before. Yes, but it was during an out of body experience years ago. And the last flying around Fuck sick. Yeah, in limbo. Virgil says it could be an effective intelligence gathering tool, but I can't do it at will. So, how did you do it before? It was triggered by extreme psychosomatic trauma. The nightmares. What are the nightmares? It's in the past now. So pretty much you're not gonna fucking find out. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, the, the last two missions are pretty short anyway, so that's not too bad. But there should be a good 40 parts, at least. So that's not too bad. Another cutscene. This is where they store the merchandise ready for export. It's funny. What is? I expected it to be bigger. A lot bigger. But then... 
I was just a child when I was here. I was in limbo. What are you doing here? Escaping my nightmares. You came to limbo to escape your nightmares? Yes. Strange thing. My god. Right, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.